Tony Clyde! <laughs> You. Keep going for Ben Gonzalez, everybody. And all the other comics you've seen tonight yourselves. <laughs> yeah. You guys having a good summer? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's been eventful, it's been hot as shit. Um, I know this because I drive a 51 year old car with no air conditioning and vinyl seats. Because <laughs> I have a giant carbon footprint. And, uh, <laughs> And I don't care. I don't give a shit, all right? Don't tell me about it. Here's the thing, okay? My car is already made. You making a new car that's fuel efficient is less conscious. You know what I'm saying? You mean to tell me it, it gets less of a carbon footprint for you to dig up more iron, make more plastic, take that to an assembly plant, then put that car in a dealership lot that it is for me to put fucking gas in my tank? <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I do drive a 1967 Death Trap, though. <laughs> Car's got zero seatbelts but six ashtrays. <laughs> and uh, two doors, so do the math on that. <laughs> Just double fisted cigarettes. <laughs> Chain smoking. I don't know. It's exciting to drive a car that's a death trap. Um, makes life interesting. Every time I leave, I'm like, please start, please fucking start. <laughs> it's like a Mission Impossible task. I'm like, I'm just trying to get my car started to get to the next free show. <laughs> so I can fucking spend 50 cents a mile because my car gets eight miles to the gallon. <laughs> I'm the reason why we're having this heat wave right now. I was driving a lot last month, I apologize. <laughs> It's fun to drive an old car because I feel like a politician. I'm driving down the street, people are waving at me, I'm always waving at shit. <laughs> safe, safe car, and yeah, it's like a tank. Um, until you, you try to have the brakes and your brakes don't work. That's a frightening thing uh, when you don't have brakes, people. Highly recommend having a car that can stop. That's a huge part of driving. <laughs> You ever see a guy driving a classic car? It's usually me. It's, uh, <laughs> there's one of us around here. Here's the thing though, okay? People who drive classic cars, we're not assholes. I just don't use turn signals because I'm not sure that that's not gonna short circuit something else that's very vital to how I drive, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't fucking stop at most stop signs or traffic signals that already spent the money to get up to fucking cruising speed, okay? <laughs> I'm not gonna waste money to slow down again. Get the fuck out of here. In fact, get out of my way. I can't honk because I ruined my horns. I honk too much. I have road rage, I blew my horn out. <laughs> now I just yell at intersections, okay? I was at an intersection for the July weekend. There was a fucking green arrow. Yeah, no one knows what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> They're very few and far between. They're like a unicorn. I mean, I've spoke about them, if you've seen them, I happen upon one, I'm like, fuck yeah. Guess who's going left, Poor else goes straight. This guy. <laughs> and the guy in front of me is like, nah, not for me. And I'm just losing my shit. Because <laughs> I can't honk because I already ruined the fucking horn. I'm like, go, 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 you fucking asshole. Fuck this guy, I'm fucking going. I get the oncoming flow of traffic. Make a badass left turn. Squawk the tires, no big deal. Fourth <laughs> of July weekend, being American as shit. Guy at the gas pump sees me, he's like, fuck yeah, America. <laughs> we have a moment. Make the turn, no one's harmed, all of a sudden I hear, boom. Exactly, cop siren. Never have I heard that, I'm like, oh, finally, backup's here. <laughs> You're gonna help out old T-Bone. That's what I call myself. No, I never had that. I'm like, oh shit, I'm getting fucked. But the back of my cocky ass mind is the cop is walking up with his motorcycle boots on. I was like, nah, he saw that thumbs up. He's like, not good enough. All five fingers, where's Klein at? <laughs> that wasn't the case. He just walked up in my car all angrily. He's like, you know, I pulled you over? I'm like, yeah, probably the left turns again. <laughs> Left turn, not to mention exhibition of speed, driving on the oncoming flow of traffic, and the double yellow. Exactly. I know the fuck that was. I'm like, what do you mean double yellow? He's like, you can't cross a double yellow. I'm like, did you see what I did back there? I crossed the fuck out of that thing. <laughs> Dude, pain does not dictate how I drive, okay? 
Yeah. You ever see me in a parking garage and the spot I want is right fucking there and the arrow's pointing that way? <laughs> you think I'm gonna go around like I'm playing a game of shoots and ladders and shit? <laughs> Like I might pass go and collect $200, fuck that. I'm going right to the fucking spot right there, okay? I might back it if it's faster. <laughs> fucking double yellow, are you kidding me? I feel like traffic cops are just glorified hall monitors, you know what I mean? <laughs> they graduate high school, like, wait, what's a bigger street, a hall? I'll tell you, it's a bigger hall, a street I fuck my own joke up. <laughs> and they take that job, and they just fuck with me all the time. But now I'm fucking with them because my car is too old to have seatbelts, that's a bullshit alarm, right? Got around that one, which made me think, why don't I get a car that's too old to have a speedometer? <laughs> Genius, right? <laughs> get around that bullshit too, but I feel like that car is too old to speed. <laughs> I'm just fucking crank starting, I'm like, Pfft. there's no windshield, that fucking goggles and a scarf like I'm the Red Baron. <laughs> Still wooga horning around town. <laughs> Dumb person. Didn't go to college. Any college grads in here? Yeah. You guys got student loans? Yeah. Smartest thing I ever did was stay stupid. <laughs> financially, uh, there's some hang ups there. Not, to, not gonna lie to you. Not gonna lie. I can't spell my own first name. That's a tough one. But I started off school that way. I started off school as Anthony Robert Klein. Then I forgot the H in Anthony, and my first teacher ever in kindergarten was a bitch. <laughs> and didn't let me fucking go past that. She said, your name is your name Anthony or Anthony? Oh, exactly. That's <laughs> her right there. <laughs> nah, it's Tony, bitch. That's what I said to her. <laughs> Zero student debt, but I can't spell my own first name. God damn. Life's great. Danny, how much time do I have? One second? Two minutes. Two minutes? Oh, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, you guys watch the World Cup? Yeah. yeah. Croatia, huh? So close. <laughs> so close. I'm Croatian. My mom's Croatian. I was. Uh, I actually got on board with that whole thing. I was so fucking amped about the fucking World Cup that I cooked the only dish that I don't have made. My only Croatian meal is a dish called meat pie. <laughs> Don't let that breeze past the ears. I said, meat pie. Right? That's not a silence of the lamb's dish that Buffalo Bill cooked. That's something my mom made me for dinner on my birthday because it was my favorite fucking meal. Meat pie. Meat pie. Meat pie. Meat pie. That's fucking, it's delicious, but it's a fucking terrible name. You don't think about that kind of shit until I'm telling a strange audience full of people what my mom made me on my birthday. <laughs> I loved it so much that I would have my friends come over to have dinner on my birthday. Then my friend Brian was an asshole. He's like, hey Tony, your mom's meat pie is awesome. <laughs> can I have some more? I'm like, you're damn right you can because that's delicious, but you're still an asshole. <laughs> I didn't know I grew up on peasant food. I didn't know how poor I was until I watched the World Cup. I'm like, oh my God, I was poor. Every dish I had as a kid was the kind of fucking food they'd throw at you if you were bombing in fucking Croatia in the medieval times. A lot of stews, a lot of carrots, a lot of cabbage. I bought a whole cart full of groceries to recreate all the meals my mom made for a week. It cost me 48 cents, right? <laughs> Fuck was that poor. I'm not totally inclined to very much. Give